This episode is brought to you by Blue Door Financial. Blue Door Financial will help you save money and reduce taxes to live a fuller financial life. To learn more, visit Blue Door Financial online at bludoorfinancial.com. That's bludoorfinancial.com. Hi, I'm Bill Corcoran Jr. and I'm your host for the On The Stacks podcast. Today, I'm chatting with Danny Likens, co-founder at Kraken Board Sports. What's up, podcast episode 99 of the On The Stacks podcast in the Blue Door studio. Welcome to the show, Danny. How you doing? Oh, fantastic. How are you? I'm good, man. Thanks for thanks for coming in today. Thank you. This is great. Uh, you, brought, you brought your snowboard with you. We did a couple uh, jumps out there oh, on the yeah, stacks. Yeah, lots of, we jumped over the stacks. Pretty much. It's great. Yeah, did yeah. A nice board slide on one of them. Definitely. Papers everywhere, but... Yeah, how did, how did I do? Oh, great, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought I did all right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about, um, you know, cracking board sports in a little bit, but, um, let's kind of start, I want to learn a little bit more about you cause you're not from any PA. No, not um, originally. Yeah. So, so tell me about it. Tell me about yourself. Where are you from? Oh, so I'm a transplant from the faraway town of Reading, Pennsylvania. So I moved the whole hour and a half trick trip by car up to Wilkes-Barre back in, oh God, 2011 now? What brought you here? Oh, I, I came here for college. So I went to Wilkes University, uh, engineering student, uh, did a electrical engineering, mechanical engineering degree, and did their uh, digital media art and design. I th- they changed the name of the major on me while I was there, but uh, it's it was a blast. So, yeah. So why engineering? Why? Oh, I, I like making shit. Like, like what? Oh, everything. Like, did, were you always like into like just making shit when you were a kid? Oh God, yeah. I I remember I was in like third or fourth grade and just like i'd ride my bike to radio shack and just like spend whatever couple bucks i had on random like dc motors and switches and batteries and just like wire it all up together and see what the <laughs> see what the hell happened <laughs> what'd you make anything uh, good uh, the worst thing i ever made was i took a c battery and put it on a headband and put this hard plastic propeller that went down into your nose and spun air away from your face while you were at a fire to keep like smoke from getting out of your eyes. All right. It was terrifying though because it was a hard plastic <laughs> propeller spinning just as fast as it could three inches away from your eyes. Very, very safe. Oh, it was terrifying. Um, so lots of dumb inventions that usually broke down half the time. And yeah. as I got a little older and got some formal education under my belt, things started working and being a little better so yeah here we are now so you've always been into making stuff oh yeah always yeah nice. and, and the extreme sports has that always kind of been like your thing too or so what? that was actually my business partner more than anything okay it's um so we we went to college together that's where you met we met at college yeah me and my uh mike Rabinsky, my business partner in crack and board sports what's up mike we we started the company together and we were in an engineering class in our junior year and we knew we worked well together be- from previous like class projects. And I'm like, hey, want to work together for this mechanical design engineering project? And he's like, yeah, sure. And I'm like, I kind of want to make like a 3D printer or something. And he looks at me and he goes, oh, I was thinking making a wakeboard winch. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. But like, that sounds cool. Like, it's not like this project's going to define the next couple of years of my life or anything like that. I, th- I think I said that exact sentence. Too. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> Ironic. <laughs> It was a, uh, it's like, oh yeah, it's just a fun project. So yeah. And he's like, yeah, I think I might like, after the project was just to make the design and he's like, I think I'm going to like try to weld it up and make it after we're done with it. I'm like, well then hell yeah, let's, let's do a wakeboard winch. That sounds fun. Um, so this was like, you guys were, this, we were, was, this was like a class project. This was a class like ju- juniors, juniors in college. I okay. mean, this, the, the machine that we made our junior year in college looked nothing like the one we have now nothing like a, the it one was a, it was a no, clusterfuck nothing, the, yeah, nothing the, like the one you brought in today the kraken stealth is the uh is the machine that we make now at kraken board sports and it is significantly better than the winch we made <laughs> our junior year in college so how, how how that one turned out uh so i think originally made the design out of like four inch tube which would have made it weigh like several hundred pounds and then we couldn't actually find four inch tube so we kind of just like winged it on the moment and welded some random thing together we named it wendy and wendy you had to take the engine off to fit it through doors 
because he it was a uh, wider than normal door frame. Wow! And at the time, we uh, my business partner just had a Toyota Corolla, so we had to take the engine off and the spool off to get it into the back of the so car to, like, to get it. So you had to like disassemble it and then reassemble it. <laughs> yeah, so, it was, How convenient! It was, it was great, very very marketable product. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. take your, just disassemble your engine to get into your car. Yeah. So like, was it like, did you guys get like graded on this? Yeah. And we, we got a great grade. Uh, yeah. Dr. Ed Bednars ran that class and he was a great mentor and still a good friend. Nice. He's a good dude. Cool. Over at, over at Wilkes. So, all right. So, so you guys, you guys made this winch. Yeah. In junior year. And then what happened? So we went into our senior year and we're like, well, hell, this would be fun to like keep going with. So we made it our senior project. We um, discovered TechBridge at the time, and TechBridge was like, hey, we're running our business plan competition. We're like, well, hell. I think I, at the time I was like, I was with Mike in his apartment, and we're drinking Yinglings or something. And Yinglings, I'm like, nice. I'm like, you know, this would be like, this would be cool to try to like sell these. And he's like, yeah, like people have tried to buy this shitty one off the spot for me before <laughs> for like a, a thousand bucks. I'm like, wait, what? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, hell what are we doing then like let's run with this so we threw our ticket in the hat for the tech bridge business plan competition we got the uh, wild card award winner because we're just really loud and had a fun had a fun presentation um we ran from there and then we did the machine for our senior project at college we made a new machine that didn't need to get disassembled and put into the back of a uh, disassembled to go into the back of a car. So he improved it a little. Oh, sig- it was a, a significant improvement. That still wasn't the final machine. We um, that's a whole story in itself. Yeah, tell uh, me. So um, the machine we made then was called the Kraken One. And as idealist um, uh, college seniors, we thought we were so smart and our thing was the best thing, and we had the best ideas. So we uh, uh to explain a little how a wakeboard winch works. You there's an engine, there's a spool of rope, and the engine pulls the spool back in very quickly. Someone holds onto the end of the rope and it pulls them in. So you can wakeboard without a boat, you can snowboard without a hill, you can pull your friends on tubes over ramps, you can do a bunch of dumb stuff. You can pull me over the stacks. Oh yeah, you can yeah, you, you can yeah, we can go we can go uh, snowboarding in the studio. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> From there though, we're like, oh this thing's great. This is the best. It's the best because we made it. And we tried to sell it then, and we realized um, we made a machine that we could barely make more than one or two of because it was so complicated. It looked really cool, but it was so hard to make. And we we needed to retail it for like $4,000 before we even started adding some of the features. And what year was this? This was 2016 now. We had just graduated. Okay. And... We were eating tacos in Texas with a pro wakeboarder that we had like paid a bunch of money to get get on this college wakeboard tour to show off our new fancy machine, and we're chatting. So you took this thing all the way out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. We took our like only one that we had because we couldn't really figure out how to make more than one at the time because it was a while ago. How'd you get it out there? We shipped it. We put it on a pallet and shipped it still, and then flew down there and we're talking with this guy, and he's like, "This machine is great, but like, no one's gonna buy it." I'm like, w- w- why? Why, Mr. Pro Wakeboarder? And he's like, well, if, if you have $4,000 to spend on a wakeboard winch, you're just going to use a boat. I'm like, oh. Shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, and like half the features were so cool and so complicated, but they didn't work half the time because like... You beat the shit out of this thing. People throw it in the back of their car. The The handle was a r- radio control, and it was supposed to control the machine, and the handle gets, like, dropped on the ground at 20 miles an hour and, like, hits rocks and stuff. So, it's all like, banged up. It's re- Imagine throwing your iPhone at a rock at 20. <laughs> like, not good. over and over again. Yeah. Or, like... Won't last. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not great. So, um, we're like, oh, back to the drawing board, and then we made the product we made now. Where we were like, okay, we need to make something that makes sense for our industry. Now that we actually played around a little bit, we went out, we met people, we talked to actual customers, we talked to the actual people in the wakeboard winch market, people that actually like doing this stuff. And because, you know, we, we thought we were cool, we thought we were smart, but like, I only got into doing like board sports in general, action sports when I started the company. And my business partner was in it for, you know, 10 years before that but still you're like 
25. You think you're hot shit, but like, <laughs> you, got, you, you were. You, you, oh, we thought we were. We, we were. We were cool, but you know, you you, you learn by sh- falling in the mud a couple times. Um, so we're like, okay, we know what we need to do now. So we went home back to the drawing board. We made a machine that we could cut all the things that were just fluff and the features that were just features that we thought were cool, but didn't actually add to any value for our customers. And at this point, like you guys had probably, you, you hadn't sold any? We, we hadn't sold any. Okay. No, we had like, we were just, we we're just strictly trying to market this one to all hell and like no one was interested because it was just too expensive for the market. And this was right after college. Yeah, this was like shortly after college. Did, this was like six months after college and now. So like, did you, either one of you have like a full-time job and was this like a we, side we hustle bo- thing? We both had, we both had like engineering jobs. Okay. So we're like, okay, well, what do we do now? So we redesigned it. Um, we made this new machine. That's one that was then the Kraken Stealth. We redesigned it in a month or so. Started, made all the new drawings for these new machines. And we sold our first one for holiday season sales that year. We're like, oh, well, this is working. I remember like we got a phone call. I got the thing on our web store come through that we actually sold one. So I, you got the price down. Yeah, I, we got the price way down. We got that first one. We got it. I mean, this was too low at the time even, but we managed to get it to a nine ninety nine. Nice. Which right. was yeah. exciting. Yeah, we, were yeah. right at, we were right at the level. We we're like, perfect. <laughs> Plus shipping and handling and they're heavy machines. So they were yeah. bulky to ship and then we'd figure that out. But, so who bought the first one? Um, We sold it to a guy in Connecticut. That was bringing his his kids do motocross, but then also like uh, he was, they were snowboarding in their front yard, and they there you built, go. they were building a big ramp to jump over their driveway. <laughs> Love it! <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> so he he's he still has it. He's our Does first he? customer. He's fr- I'm friends with him on Facebook. That's awesome. Yeah, he's a good That's dude. That's cool. So what? Just, so then so then what? So you sold the fr- you sold the we first- sold the first one. Yeah, we sold the second one week or so after sales picked up we're like oh damn like i think we figured it out then as like customers started using it and we started traveling with it more we figured out like what things people actually needed and we started adding our features back on but features that our customers actually wanted and the things that are actually beneficial to them so i mean we made a machine that had bigger engines because people needed more horsepower to do like crazier and crazier things or like deep water starts or like be wanting to go faster and pull over it, pull into things. So we added engine engine options to make the make you go faster or have more torque. We added a handbrake, we added handles, we added uh, a stainless steel fair lead because our one customer comes to us and he's like, hey, your machine's great. We've been using it for weeks on end skimboarding on the beach and the rope keeps picking up sand and wearing out the fair lead and now it's just like sharp, jagged edges that the rope gets caught on. And you can imagine if you're dragging rope in with a six horsepower engine over a sharp aluminum jagged edge, it just continuously cuts it over and over again. So I go, oh, hell, we can fix that. So we developed a new feature. We made a stainless steel fair lead that goes in the front of it. Um, it's a, just a solid block of polished stainless steel that the rope glides through. And then for our customers that use it in sand, it survives, actually. So we just, as we go, we've learned just a lot of what people actually need and run with it from there. So tell me about the name. Where, where did the name oh. Kraken come from? So the name Kraken came from a... We didn't. We needed a name for the company. It was. Uh, you didn't have one at this we point. Didn't, no, this is this is a this is back in college now. Okay. So we're like, oh shit, we need a name. So I go to Mike and I'm like, what are we gonna name it? He's like, I was. Th- he's like, I was thinking pull tech because we make winches. I'm like, that's so generic and terrible and very like pigeonholed into like one thing. I was like, we need something more more uh, open, like something weird. I was like, I just said the name Brontide, which means the sound of distance thunder. And he's like, Danny, that's fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so you both had two terrible ideas. So, um, I think this was another night where I sh- showed up at his apartment with a six pack of Yingling. And I think I was... So this Yingling seems yeah, to do the trick. Yingling, or, Yingling Lion said SPC, like drink, drink one of the local brews. The classics. And, yeah, come up with something weird and wild. But um. I think I was, I got to, I think I was like 
th- I'm a third yingling, and I think I started jumping up and down on his couch, just shouting names of different sea creatures. Because like, oh, it's a wakeboard winch, water, and I was like, uh, fish, octopus, other thing, uh, kraken, um, other mythical, and like, uh, the the. And he's like, wait, kraken's kind of cool. I'm like, yeah, kraken is kind of cool as a name. Or like, well, we needed something else, like kraken, kraken, what, kraken. Uh, uh, we stuff with boards. What if we just call it board sports? Yeah, cracking board, board sports. That's that's good. Sounds good. Well, well they'll sleep on it. <laughs> Wake up with a headache and be like, oh, yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> so thirty-seven yinglings later, yeah. <laughs> right? Perfect. Yeah. So so, but what 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 is this mythical creature? So the uh, kraken is a mythical sea creature that kind of looks like an octopus. Is it mythical though, or is it a real thing? I don't. I've never seen one. But then again, I've never seen an. I guess I've th- seen an octopus in like the aquarium. But I don't know. Maybe it's not mythical. Someone, someone doing research on this. Someone, someone listening to this podcast, do some research. Uh, get back to me whether the kraken is just a mythical sea creature. Yeah. So or that's not. Ev- everyone listening. That's your homework. Yeah. There's, there's we, a homework assignment. And we want to hear from you. Yes. Yeah, so we need <laughs> to hear from you. Reach out to me. It's a uh, at Kraken Board Sports at uh, on Instagram. So you can. Send message the me there. Message me there if it's real or not. Send the know. DMs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you came up with a name. You guys, you know, started selling some product. Yeah. And then, you know, did the company then start taking off more after yeah, that? Yeah. Then we started growing. So at this how did, point. How did you grow it? Well, I mean, so at this point, we were in my two car garage behind my house without power. We were running a borrowed welder from Ted Brunel off of an extension cord plugged into my uh, garbage disposal outlet. Sounds safe. That's that's the one that was on a dedicated breaker. So that if, <laughs> yeah. we, if we ran the microwave and the welder at the same time, we wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't be, pop the circuit. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like, oh, well, this is. This is we had our web store. We started doing um. We started doing some online ads. We started traveling a lot because we needed to get out there, and we just had this machine sitting there. So we did our first big event. Um, there's a cancer benefit that they do down in Alabama that our one that a friend of ours, a friend of a friend, reached out to us like, hey. We do this wakeboarding uh, gig at this cancer benefit called Cancer Freeze, and we really could use a winch. Uh, could you guys like figure out a way to help us? And we're like, we're twenty something at the time, and I'm like, well, shit, like let's just drive down there. So we loaded up our machine, we got in the car, and we drove down to Alabama to meet these people, just like do an event. And we're actually, um, we it's a couple years later now. I can't count. Um, I think that was 2017, so five. And this year we're shipping down one of our wakeboard kickers from our we uh, another we have another product line where we make these patent it's actually patents it's really cool that's but, um, legit it's a uh, we make these lightweight uh, features so it's a wakeboard kicker that floats in the water and we made them this gigantic one it's the biggest one we've ever made it's ten feet long five feet wide four feet high the thing is barely fits on a pallet and I don't know how it's gonna get in the truck <laughs> <laughs> we're shipping that down to them for their their event. Nice. So what is it? Explain it. So this is the event that they do. They um, they raise a bunch of money for a couple different families of people that have cancer. And the wakeboarding is like a big show that they put on there. So there's a couple of riders that go into it. There's vendors. There's a bunch of other people showing up and they just raise a bunch of money. And some people wakeboard. Some people watch the people hurt themselves over slamming into docks and do it, trying to do their best not to. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it, it's it's called Cancer Freeze because it's actually in January. Oh, and w- okay. And while Alabama's warmer than here, it's still, still not particularly... Yeah. It's not particularly warm down there at this time of year. For water sports. Yeah. yeah. For water sports. But we did that event and then from there we were like, oh, well, this is working. We're reaching out to people. So we just started hitting up every single different event we could do. We, do, we were doing... um. We did a, actually we've done this quite a few years in a row now, the uh, Wake Off series over in New Jersey. There, that's a that's a fun event, and we've done that every year since 2016. We, we brought our terrible first machine there either. <laughs> um, they're, they're, that's a fun event. Um, but yeah, af- after just going as many places as we could, as many weekends in a row, going to every single different wakeboarding, snowboarding, skateboarding event in the eastern side of the United States... 
we managed to make a name for ourselves as those crazy people that would drive everywhere. Those crazy, <laughs> those crazy guys from Wilkesbury. <laughs> those crazy guys from Wilkesbury have the have like several ramps and a wakeboard winch in the back of their truck <laughs> they're again. Show, they're showing up again. <laughs> they're showing up. They drove fifteen hours to be here. <laughs> here they are. <laughs> So you, so you we kinda, do less of that now that we're old and decrepit. But yeah. you know. so you kind of built it on like just traveling all around and just, yeah, just exactly. promoting this thing like on just, site. Oh, exactly. Promote it on site and then people see it. They like it. We have a bunch of video from the events we go to because I'd record everything and having the content to show off what we did like gave us the ability to make, you know, cool videos for Instagram. And that goes really far in the action sports arena. Yeah. Yeah. So what? So so you brought your snowboard. You obviously snowboard, right? Yeah. yeah. Anything yeah. else? A snowboard. I wakeboard. I try to skateboard when I'm not like running into curbs and falling over. Yeah. Um. I only I, like I said. I only started doing this stuff when I started the company, which is kind of weird. But like, it's a it's a couple years is enough to you know learn how to like ollie and get over things at least. So <laughs> <laughs> I I used to be able to do that. I yeah. I probably still could. I was telling yeah, you earlier. You, you that, need to get uh, your skateboard out. Come on. We'll, uh, we'll go ride some. I, I don't have one anymore. You don't have one. No, I feel like, the, uh, I, Bazaar just opened up in uh opened up Scranton. So you go to them. They're good. Right, or yeah. if you want to go back to can, Reddit. Can I get like an on the stacks one? Maybe th- you probably. We'll we'll make you a sticker for it or something. All we right. got we got our vinyl cutter cuz we do yeah. all our stickers for things. Yeah. Nice. Well, we well, got to do yeah. that. Yeah, we'll I'll, do that. Yeah, we'll get you a skateboard. I'll show off my my skills of ollieing. Perfect. That's why I think that's all I can probably still do. Yeah, whatever. It's yeah, good. that's the basics. You're good. Yeah, yeah. I can still ride it though. There you go. Then perfect. Yeah. yeah. But that's it. I'll probably fall and like break my arm. Oh, whatever. I'm like like accident we're, prone. We're all, we're all getting. <laughs> everyone's getting old. Yeah. Yeah. So like you know when you guys were in college like did you ever think that like you would this would become like an actual I real mean thing? like I'm a like, we made it this far. It's wild. Like I. Where it, before when you know I said we were in our two car garage without power running off an extension cable, we just we just bought a uh, facility over in Forty Fort. I was we gonna say where yeah now we're now in Forty Fort. We have it's a shared space still, but we're in like we have seven thousand square feet of facility where we have one side that's our full metal metal fab shop where we have a plasma table and a fancy new uh, plasma tube machine CNC plasma tube machine. Um, our mill and lathe and all of our other different tools for making these things. And then we have on the other side of our shop, we have this really weird setup where we make our, our ramps, the skate block ramps that I was talking about that wakeboard kicker earlier, where we carve foam and then spray it with this like special sauce coating we have that makes it rock hard and like nearly indestructible or you can like slam it with sledgehammers and stuff. Wow. So we have that on the other side of the facility. So it's it makes for a nice shop that we can make our products in and do some cool stuff. So you guys just like ride skateboards and stuff in there? Yeah, and that when we yeah we have like because we have our metal fab shop, we end up making a bunch of like rails and stuff. So we just have rails, <laughs> rails and ramps, and there's a quarter pipe in the one corner, and like we have fun with it. Yeah, it's like your own little indoor yeah. skate park. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be like Fantasy Factory, Fantasy Factory in Wilkesbury. Yeah, that's that's the next goal. Do you guys sell some of those some of those other products? Well, yeah, that's a yeah. So I mean, if you go on our website, it's a shop dot dot com. You'll find we we have all of our stuff on there. So where we have the wakeboard winches, we have our rails, we have our skateboard, we have our skateboard ramps, we have the wakeboard kickers, we have all of our stuff there. Nice. And you can find it on Insta- on our Instagram too at Kraken Board Sports. But <laughs> yeah. So all right. So one other thing I gotta ask. Um, your your name on Facebook. I've known you for some time. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I've, I but I never actually knew. So. Tell me what the meaning is oh, of your name on Facebook. So my name on Facebook, I'm a, I'm a Danny Slade Coffee Likens. Yeah, I've on, always on wondered. Facebook. Everyone's wondered it. Okay. Um, I, had a, I had a Facebook when I was young enough and dumb enough to not to realize that the um, internet's forever. And I was like, <laughs> well, I'm going to make my name Danny Slade Coffee Likens because I really like coffee and I drink a lot of coffee. I drink a lot of coffee. Like how much? Um, I guess it's not terrible. Like I have an espresso machine and I usually have like five just like espresso beverages a day, five to six usually. That's kind I mean, of, that's, that's, I guess it's a lot. I don't know. Yeah. Some, at low, so, every now and then I have a low day where I only go like three. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. I think that's kind of a lot. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Super automatic espresso machine. Can't recommend it enough. It's yeah. fantastic. Um, 
So, I mean, well, I like coffee, so I'm going to add it to my name. And then Slade, S-L-A-D-E, is uh, actually my middle name. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, it's it's fun. It's a, I, I, I always pull out my driver's license when people ask me about it. Because they like, don't believe you, right? Yeah, they're like, yo, you're lying. I'm like, no, no, it's real. Uh, yeah, like real. I, I, be, until today, like I, I honestly didn't know the answer, and I, I, I thought maybe I was, I, maybe I was like looking too much into yeah. it. But I'm, I'm reading it. I'm like, okay, well, maybe, maybe it's like kind of like slay, like slaying, like slaying yeah, coffee because you like I'm coffee. Slaying coffee. Here, you're always you, drinking, just yeah. slaying that coffee. <laughs> slaying the coffee. Yeah, <laughs> but slayed. Is actually your middle name. Yeah, it's it's a re- it's a real name. Nice. All right, so um, you mentioned these these machines that you guys have. Like like, what do you guys make? Like, what do you guys do? So I mean, so we have we have this facility where we make the wakeboard winches at. We make our skate blocks features. But because like we have this whole machine shop at our at our um, we have this whole machine shop at our disposal now that we can do whatever. And I like making things. My business partner likes making things. We make all kinds of random fun stuff um one thing that we've gotten into recently because i have an art background is we do a lot of metal signage so we'll do um we'll make like cool metal sign art and for companies and businesses and just for fun knickknacks and birthday presents and customized customized different signs like whatever the hell you want yeah exactly we were doing um we were doing some cool dog bone leash holders actually for a three dog bakery because they're neighbors with us now over on the Ave over in Wyoming Ave so they they have some of our products on their shelves now which is fun and we've done signs for different places we've met just through traveling there's actually a there's a bunch of different businesses all in Portland Connecticut that all have different signs from us because we made a sign for Purgatory Coffee Roasters there. So this, so and, this goes back to your coffee yeah. addiction. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're a coffee shop and they're skate. Then they have like they love skating, so they have a Vans they have a Vans banner on the front door. So we're like, oh, these people are gonna be friends with us. Yep. So um, they bought one of our signs and then we made a really cool sign out of old skateboard decks for them. And all the other businesses around them were like, we want cool signs too. So we have an odd number of signs in Portland, Connecticut. <laughs> Portland, Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking to take a, a you know, looking to travel at all. There, there's a cable park up there too. That's uh, Brownstone. That's a fun cable park. Cool. But, yeah. Nice. Where else have you been? Like that's been like oh, some cool spots. God. So there's Connecticut. There's a really cool spot down in South Carolina, Southtown Wake Park in Rock Hill. They they have uh they have some of our features there, we um God we've been to Alabama quite a bit, um we've been to Worcester Massachusetts for a thing for an event that used to be there, um God all over the place the New Jersey Wake Off we do we actually made a bunch of cool trophies for them where they we took their logo cut it out of metal they have like this wake border that is on like the globe and it's like a photo of New Jersey because it, it's in New Jersey. Unfortunately, oh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, we th- gotta be a little mean yeah, here. Th- thank you for uh, <laughs> thank you for adding that. By the way, yeah, unfortunately, oh, no, I hope they're still friends with me after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be canceled. Yeah, <laughs> but um, so we made some cool trophies for them, and that one's a blast. So yeah, we we've gone all over the place doing this stuff. Yeah, so speaking of signs, you made me a. No, oh, yeah, we I, I made a nice, cool on the stack sign. Now. Yeah, it's pretty legit. Tell me about it. So we took we it was, it was you know a couple of days before doing this interview and I'm like I got I can't show up empty handed I gotta show up with a cool present or something. So Hell like, yeah! I was like I need the logo. We'll cut it out. So we took just some I think some eleven gauge or fourteen gauge steel and just cut out the logo on it, put it on a little black backer so it tries to match what looked like on the website. Except the uh, we left the metal uh, r- bare so that it has like the cool uh, we sanded the metal so it's frosted metal on yeah, it. Yeah, it, it yeah, looks nice. it. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's now cool. we can see what it's made out of. Yeah, it's awesome. We put it on a black backer still so it pops nicely. Yeah, that's super yeah, it's cool. Fun. Thanks, man. No, you're good. Yeah, that's awesome. Anytime. Yeah. So all right. So be- before we came on, you were telling me so like you know, the machine that made this, and then you were telling me that you guys are either. Thinking about getting something new, or, or oh, we're 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 always thinking about getting new stuff. We want to get a water jet now. What That's is what, that? Uh, so right now we have the one machine we cut all of our signs with. It's a plasma cutter, and it cuts the metal with a beam of plasma. 
And What's well, a beam of plasma? Oh, so it's just like it's like freaking laser beams. Yeah, ba- I mean, kind of. It's a, it's a little bit wilder than that. So there's is a, it? The, you know, well, the science classes they tell you about. There are three states of matter: the gas, liquid, and solid. I didn't pay attention. Oh, there, there's a you four- did. Yeah. All right, yeah, tell I'm me. An, tell, I'm all right, an engin- all right give me the, school me on it. Here. There's a fourth one too. Okay. It's plasma. You just get you get it re- get stuff really hot and it turns and into danger- plasma. And dangerous. Oh yeah, don't don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch it. It'll burn the shit out of you. <laughs> um so we cut we cut the our metal signs out of we cut the metal signs using this torch and plasma that was on a CNC controller that we can draw whatever artwork on the computer, plug it in, and it cuts out the shapes. And then we have a tube machine, too, that can cut wild shapes into any steel tube as well that we got last year. And then this year, we're trying to get a water jet, though, which cuts um, cuts with a beam of water, just highly pressurized water. And just just, just water. go through anything, yeah. Water. Yeah, just water. How? Yeah, you just got to get enough pressure behind it. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Don't touch it. Like, how? do you know how much it is? Uh, a lot. Like a bazillion pounds. Like a bazillion PSI, basically. Yeah. yeah. It's it's in the thousands, definitely. Yeah. It's it's a lot. I don't know what any of that means, yeah. but I know it's a lot. It's some, some number. Some number that's big and yeah. scary. Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah. I can only imagine. If it's stronger than a, it's stronger than like it's, the, it, the yeah, laser beams. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's not just that it's stronger. It's just like the... It, if you tried to cut like plasma with like plastic, it would just like destroy it. Like you're not gonna. It's, it also needs electrical contact for cutting the yeah. plasma. So you know, plastic doesn't conduct electricity, which makes it hard. But the uh, plastic on just a oh, stream of water can cut through it. So it's it's a whole different thing in manufacturing. We we like our manufacturing. I I uh, I love just always getting different tools in the shop. It's fun. Yeah. So I would imagine that like the innovation. And just in you know in in your business is probably like a really big part. That I mean I think that's kind of what we that's the innovation is our big like strong suit is we'll have people that come to us with just wild things now because like we've what? Cu- we've kind of we've done so much. So I mean between we did this really fun project uh, back at the end of 2020 where Red Bull actually came to us and they're like hey like we are looking to make a wakeboard feature. I'm like, okay, cool, we do that. And like, and we want um, we want to put a Red Bull sign on the front of it. Like, okay, cool. And they're like, and also we want the wakeboard feature to be made out of a flipped over crew boat and lit up pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And it needs to go to Philly so we can uh, – put it in Boathouse Row and show it off and do a photo shoot with a couple pro wakeboarders and have it by October. And we're like, awesome. I'm like, wait, October's not that far away. That's in a couple, that's in like a month. That's, that's weeks. And they're like, yeah. Can you do it? I'm like, um, yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, of course. So the uh, several cups of coffee later, there was a Dunkin' Donuts near the shop at least, which is very handy. We managed to take this crew boat they dropped off at our shop. Uh, I think it was like forty feet long. So wow, that's, we that's ran big. we ran LED RGB LED strip down the whole thing so we could glow whatever color they wanted. I gave them a knob on the control box that was labeled pinkness that tuned it from like a light white pink to like a very deep red hot pink. So they they could adjust the pinkness, which is a I feel, I feel that's a good variable for definitely if you're trying to make something pink. Yeah, um, we made some floats out of our super fancy foam stuff to hold it all together. We made we took the Red Bull logo, made it into a sign, put it onto the front of it, threw it on the top of our truck, and drove it down to Philadelphia in the middle of the night or early morning or. Sometime in that weird hour between sleep and wake for everyone else that we're still in, up in, doing in stuff. Between, in between yinglings <laughs> yeah. and espressos. Yeah. <laughs> um, got it down there, dropped it dropped it at Boathouse Row, uh, floated in the water, and then it worked. they did their photo shoot. And then it was on Red Bull's page for the beginning of October. That's awesome. It was wild. <laughs> so so like how did you how did you get this like contact relationship with Red Bull? Th- that one was through the people at New Jersey Wake Off again. So please, uh, yeah, I'm, for, sorry, for, yeah, I'm sorry yeah. for insulting New yeah, Jersey. Yeah, you better, you better say sorry now. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to tell Red Bull. <laughs> so, I mean, I it just 
getting out there was the biggest thing for us. So you they just met their people. Yeah, we just we just met their we met people through them, and that was enough to start the relationship. That they were like, "Hey, we heard about you guys. Can we do this?" And we're like, "Yeah, we. I think we can do that." So that's really now cool. we're their we're their contact for. Oh, we need something really weird. You, you guys, I'm waiting for the next. I'm waiting for the next time they're going to drop someone from space. And you guys, you guys yeah. do the weird things. Yeah, we, we do weird stuff. Yeah, exactly. What 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 other weird stuff do you do? Uh, I mean, like we do, we just get so we get a lot of strange projects running through the shop. We got, we did one where this, um, so we helped someone develop a new hairbrush. Actually, this Interesting. person, this person's been like going back and forth, just like because we do three D modeling with all of our machine tools. So we, we've, this person's been like going back and forth, like I want to make the perfect hairbrush. So we've spent a bunch of hours just like moving bristles and making it like perfect to the, their specifications. That's been this. It's just been a, a lot of just like wild design time. I'm trying to think of Is, another. Are they, are they, was that like somebody local? No, that, that, we met them through, we met them through, uh, Northeast Plastics, actually. Okay. Uh, they they used to be in Scranton. I think they moved to Pittston now, but um, that was a wild one. I'm trying to think what other we've done. We've done some pretty fun signs for people. Um, I did a sign for um, no, I don't want to I don't want to bring up any heat here, but we did a sign for Center City Print actually. There or they were starting a studio as well, a recording studio, and we made a crazy backlit sign that was for their recording studio and put a bunch of little LEDs lights on the back of it and it looks really cool now in their music studio. Nice. That was a fun one. Cool. Um trying to think what other fun fun projects we've done. Just a bunch of like random fun artsy jobs where people like there's a lot of machine shops in this area, but unless you know how to like talk shop with them, it's hard to like get things made. Yeah, because you guys are like a lot different than yeah, like, the typical machine whereas, shop. Whereas like we, you can hand us an art file and be like, I have this, I have this sketch or I have this Illustrator file and I want to make it into something. And like a machine shop probably yeah, would just be like, shop nah, can't. it's not. There's a oh, uh, we did a um, we did a fire pit again in Connecticut for <laughs> for a restaurant at the one ski resort up in Connecticut. And this fire pit has a logo for the restaurant cut in stencil on the side of it so it glows through it. And then it's also a table made out of a gigantic old spool that I think they had the cable wire on for the ski lift. Oh, like one of those giant... Yeah, so it's this giant spool that then we had... we took it was one of the edges of one of that that's now the table there's a flat metal plate that goes on top of it that holds some alcohol burners so it's a fire pit and then it has their logo on the side of it and i think that's the main centerpiece in the restaurant now and that's been they've been sh- that table's like booked out for like months in advance <laughs> that's really so cool like, oh, i'm glad i'm glad your table worked <laughs> yeah that's awesome so like what else so what else, what else are you guys looking to do like what else you got what else are you looking to get into I mean, like, I've really enjoyed the sign business. So, like, if anyone needs a fun backlit sign, let me know. Like, we do, we do all of that under our, um, we have its Krypton Design is the actual name of that branch of our company. You can check us out on the Instagrams at Design by Krypton. It's the element, K-R-Y-P-T-O-N. Nice. Yeah. So if you go to design I by I crypto, didn't, I didn't know about this. Yeah. No, we do a lot because I mean, like everyone, a lot of people see our crack and board sports stuff, and we're like, oh, well, we should branch out. So we've been, we've been doing, we've been starting now to do more marketing on it because it's fun, extra cool stuff to do, and we, I, I love making stuff. Yeah. So the more fun things, if you have an idea, bring it to me. <laughs> so like you guys do everything from like. Just start from scratch. Yeah, exactly. We do. We get. We get quite a few people that like come in. They're like, "I have this idea. Can you help me make it into a thing?" And a lot of times, more times than not, we're like, "Yeah, there's some way we can bring you from start to finish." That's really cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool to be part of something from taking something from nothing and mm-hmm. and designing it. So you guys both have an engineer background, right? Yeah, both of. So uh, my business partner is a mechanical engineer. Um, and then I do electromechanical engineering. Nice. And then I have the art background too, because I'm, uh, 
I can't. I can't just do one thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's way too. That's way too little. You got to do it all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what? What else? What's like? What's the future look like for Kraken? Oh, so I mean, we've been making these winches now for these for board sports. We're trying to make some new winches on the horizon, some higher power ones, different features. We're trying to see if we can make an electric one. See how that works on the market. So, um. Different things. We always making different ramps. We have this new wakeboard kicker that I said that we shipped down to Alabama. That's the uh, really, really big wakeboard kicker. Um, we're going to see if we can sell more of those this summer and get into some bigger features in wakeboard arena. Um, as we've been, we got that CNC tube cutting machine trying to make more rails because now it's super easy for us to cut rails. We do our event uh ale jam every year oh is this the one at sbc this is the you guys one at like, sbc yeah yeah, yeah. So, so, I guess, so you guys like hauled in like a bunch we, of snow we haul in a couple truckloads of snow dump it in their parking lot we make our own features for the event and then ride them all day we You're like what is like what is okay. what is this yeah event? Let, let's, let's let's backtrack a little so a couple years ago we're like we do all these events and we're like well, shit these events are fun but like there's nothing around us so, I mean, like, we have all the ability to change that. So we did. And it was uh, 2019, we did our first Ale Jam, where we, like I said, we dumped a couple truckloads of snow in their parking lot. Where'd the snow come from? Uh, different, uh, the ice rinks. It's Zamboni shavings. Okay. Uh, Toyota Sports Complex and then Revolution Ice. Uh, are so kind enough to let us truck their ice shavings in from their <laughs> Zambonis and dump it on SBC's parking lot so that we can throw a big party, um, snowboard on all day. Once the sun goes in, go into the brewery and we hire some, we got a couple of different local bands and we party all night then. Yeah, it looks a lot of fun. I remember seeing like it's the pictures black. on, on so Facebook. So we actually, we, um, we did the first one of those. It, we do, it's called a rail jam when you uh do something like that. Oh, but you guys made it so ale. So we made it ale jam. I see, I we, see. So I, I get it now. The uh, the first rail jam we did, though, it was the same weekend as ale jam, but it was back in 2016 again, and we did it in my front yard, in front of the first Kraken manufacturing facility. So we... Uh, none outside, of my, outside the garage? Uh, outside the garage, yeah. yeah. So we took the winch from the garage, and we put it in the side of the yard. We dumped the single truckload of snow in my front yard, and got a picnic table off Craigslist <laughs> and put it in the middle of it for us to ride on. Um, the video is still on YouTube. <laughs> I got to see this thing. It's uh, called Snowboard the Suburbs, I believe. And you can see us. We, uh, n- none of my neighbors in Kingston called the cops on me. Which I was, was going nice. to say, how, how, yeah, how'd my, that pl- play out? My neighbors came out and like started filming it, but the cops <laughs> the cops never showed up. Right, well, you so got, I, like, I guess you got well, some cool neighbors. I guess we got some cool neighbors. Yeah, so yeah. I'm good. I, I still live there. I so like, say, no, one, I, yeah. I still live there, and none of them called the cops on me yet. I guess I stopped doing that, though. So yeah. I got moved to SBC. If I would have had several hundred people and three bands in my front yard maybe maybe the cops might have showed up yeah you, you might need a permit for that <laughs> i think probably <laughs> sbc sbc is a better venue for it than yeah than a single yard in, yeah. in kingston yeah for sure um but yeah so then we did it the next year we did it the next year actually at our manufacturing facility we were up at we were up at twin stacks at the time and we dumped snow inside our warehouse and then outside the warehouse and rode from inside the warehouse to outside and then just like squeegeed the melted snow out at the end of the day. It was a lot of, that was, that one was fun. That was, that was a weird one. Yeah. And then, um, we did that two years in a row and we're like, well, this event is getting more and more like it was a private party, but it was getting bigger and funner. And we're like, well, shit, like, again, there's no events around here like this. Like, why not do something bigger and just make it like open to the public and blow it out and make it fun? So came up with a name over uh, tacos and more beers. <laughs> tacos, at, uh, beers, uh, and espresso. Uh, CK, CK's Tacos up in Dallas. That place is great. I miss, I miss there from my new shop move. I don't get there as often. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm like, again, shouting random names at my business partner until we're like, we need a name. <laughs> uh, I think we, we came up with Al Jam at some point after... Uh, whatever, however, however, they have a great Bloody Mary up there for breakfast. Oh, so this was a Bloody Mary. Yeah, it might have been a Bloody Mary name. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. It was a good brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like it. Either way, I got the name Al Jam out yeah. of it. So call call up SBC, then I'm like, hey, we uh, 
can we do this here? And they're like, they love doing events there. So they're, they were all about it. They're like, this is going to be so much fun. Absolutely. So we planned our first one. It was a blast. And then we just did, and uh, COVID kind of put a bummer on things for 2020. And then we just did it again for 2021. And it was again, a blast. So yeah. I got to, uh, I crowd surfed for a little bit inside SBC, which was fun. That's so. cool. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Had a few beers. Yeah, exactly. A few espressos. Yeah, a few a few espressos that day. Got, yeah. Just like a few five, espressos, few beers, five a or lot six. of a lot of shoveling snow and moving stuff around. Yeah, how much was it? Uh how much how much was like the snow? Oh, I don't I think we brought in six or seven truckloads. It's like a lot of snow. Yeah, it was like a lot of snow. It was a, a, a luckily we had dump trucks to uh to bring the snow and we yeah. just had to like lay it out flat. So what you said this was in November? Yeah, November. So like it probably wasn't like cold enough, but probably it's, almost. Yeah, it's 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 perfect where it's like cold enough that it stays. Yeah, I was but gonna say, so like how it, long did it last? Oh, we had to shovel it the next day. <laughs> oh really? It was still, it was oh, still yeah. there. Oh yeah, it's still there the next okay. day. Um their parking lot is covered in six truckloads of snow, snow the next yeah, day. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, Thanks for doing a fun event here. Come shovel the snow. Come shovel the snow, please. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. Luckily, uh, the first year we did it, we got there and we're like, oh no, we didn't plan this out, and we just shoveled their whole lot. This year, uh, Chris Hacken from Loop Internet was kind enough to stop digging holes around Wilkes Bear and running cables to uh, bring his machinery and scoop the lot for us. <laughs> shout, yeah, shout out to Chris yeah, Hacken. Yeah, for saving saving our asses and. Backs, more backs. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the Kubota is fantastic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For sure. Um, what else, man? Uh, how can how can our listeners learn more about Kraken so, Board Sports? So, I mean, because a lot of our audience is in the action sports community and they love Instagram, that's our best place where to see the latest stuff we're doing. And it's at Kraken Board Sports on Instagram. So it's K R A K E N B O A R D. S P O R T S. I always have, I always have a hard time spelling that. Spelling was never my strong suit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and it's it's long. Yeah, exactly. There's so many letters. It's also my email address, which makes it terrible when I'm when I'm on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very very hard for someone yeah. to understand. Yeah. Um. Well, and, this, yeah. And right. then the other one is it's a Krypton Design, and it's if you can find us on Instagram at Design by Krypton. So it's D E S I G N B Y. K R Y P T O N. So if you want a legit yeah. cool ass metal sign, yeah, so if like you want you some cool me. signage, and yeah. want like a, some whatever weird, sign weird, made. cool. If you, if you want a sign made out of an old skateboard that like lights up and like spins around in circles or something, call me. I got you. You're the man. I'll hook you up. It'll be it'll be the weirdest sign you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, man. Well, I got to let you get back to um, the yinglings, the tacos, yeah. and the espresso. Which is general insanity of life. So, yeah. yeah, sounds good. Weird stuff. This has been weird. Oh, yeah. I'm, I, I, would, I would have it no other way. I love it. <laughs> man, this is cool. It was, it was yeah. great to learn a little bit more about you guys, and I, I appreciate you making that sign. Yeah. I love thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for having me on the show. I'm glad yeah. you liked your sign. Yes. Yeah, so this, this I can't wait for it to be in the cool little studio we're in. Yeah. It's this legit. fun. Yeah. All right. Danny Likens. Crack and Board Sports on the Stacks Podcast in the Blue Door Studio. Thanks for joining me. Thank you much. Catch you later. If you'd like to learn more about the On the Stacks Podcast, be sure to search the hashtag On the Stacks on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. If you enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe and leave a review. We'll catch you next time on the Stacks. Stacks.